Kim? Communication. Communication is the art and process of creating and sharing ideas. The first models of communication is Aristotle. Aristotle composed of speaker, speech, audience, and effect. Aristotle models of communication. Advantage, lot of importance is given to speaker and how should he communicate so the receiver receives less attention whether he understood the message or not is ignored. Aristotle main focus on speaker and speech. Speaker-centered model as the speaker has the important role in it and is the only one active. Criticism of Aristotle. There is no concept of feedback. It is one way from speaker to audience. There is no concept of communication failure like noise and barriers. This model can only be used in public speaking. Elements of Aristotle model of communication as what I said earlier, speaker, speech, audience, or what we call occasion, and effect. Mainly a focus on speaker, on speaker and speech. Aristotle model is mainly focused on speaker and five speech. It, it can be broadly divided in five primary elements, speaker, speech, occasion, audience, and effect. Aristotle proposed model before 300 BC who found the importance of audience role in communication chain in his communication model. It more focused on public speaking than interpersonal communication. He should influence in audience mind persuade their thought toward him. It also the most widely accepted among all communications model. The purpose of Aristotle communication model speakers plays the most important role in communication and it only who holds the responsibility to influence their audience through public speaking. Aristotle is the first who proposed and wrote about a unique model of communication. This model of communication is one-way model from speaker to receiver. Speaker is speech, audience, and effect. An example of Aristotle model communication. A valedictorian gives a speech on the stage during the graduation. His goal is to inspire the student to achieve and to, to be successful someday. The speaker is valedictorian and the occasion is the graduation. His goal is to inspire the student is audience and to achieve to be successful someday is the effect. The rhetoric, rhetorical triangle, like the ethos, the speaker, logos, the message, pathos, and the audience. The rhetorical triangle did not use a triangle himself, but effectively described that three modes of persuasion, namely logos, pathos, and ethos. Each mo model of persuasion always influenced during conversion are shared back and forth but also in one-way communication such as during speeches. Ethos Ethos is about the writer or speaker's credibility and degree of authority, especially in relation to the object at hand. Tips for, for building ethos in communication. Use words that suits the target group. Keep communication professional. Conduct research before words are presented as facts. Make logical connection and avoid fallacies. The second is... Logos or message. Logos, direct translate, translation of logos is logic. Logos means logic. But in rhetoric, it more broadly to the speaker's speech and more specifically, specifically the facts, statement, and other elements that comprise the 
Argument. According to the Aristotle model of communication, logos is the most important part of one's argument. The appeal to logic also means that paragraphs and argument must be properly ordered. The last is pathos or audience. The literal pathos means the literal translation of pathos is emotion. Pathos refers to the audience and the way in which they react to the speaker's speech. Tips for effectively addressing emotions. Use image or other visual materials to evoke strong emotion. Pay attention to the intonation and tempo of one's voices in order to elicit enthusiasm or anxiety. Statistic and logical reasoning, reasoning are especially important here. When analyzing logos, always ask yourself, what is the context? What conditions are relevant? What are the potential counter-argument? Is there any evidence that could support my argument? Always mention this. Do I correctly avoid gener generalization? And I am being of specific every. The second model of communication is the last most model communication. Communication model was developed by communication theorist Harold D. Laswell in 1948. Laswell's model of communication, also known as action model or linear model or one-way model of communication, is regarded as one of the most influential communication models. Harold Dwight Laswell states that a convenient way to describe an act of communication is to answer the following question. Who, the person who formulates the message, what, the content of the message, channel, the medium by which the message is being communicated, whom, the person or persons who receive the message, Effect the outcome of the message. Who? The person who formulates the message. What? The content of the message. Channel the medium by which the message is being communicated. Communicated. Whom? The person, the person or persons who receive the message and effect the outcome of the message. The advantage of Laswell's model communication is it is easy and simple. It suits for almost all types of communication and the concept of effect. Disadvantages is feedback not mentioned, noise not mentioned, linear model. Laswell was developed to study the media propaganda of countries and business at the time. Laswell is a linear model of communication and directional process or action models because it describes a one-way process within communication. The Laswell's communication model primarily designed to analyze mass communication. It also applied to interpersonal and group communication.
Third model of commu communication is the Shannon's waiver model of communication. The Shannon waivers is called mother of all models because of its wide popularity. The model is also known as information information theory or the Shannon's theory because Shannon was the main person who developed the theory. The mod the model's primary value in explaining how messages are lost and distorted in the process of communication. In 1948, Shannon was American mathematician, electronic engineer, and Wavers was an American scientist. Both of them joined together to write an article in Bell System Technical Journal called A Mathematical Theory of Communication and also called as Shannon Waiver Model of Communication. The following concept is Sender, encoder, decoder, and receiver, and feedback. Sender, the in or should information course, source, the originator of message. Encoder, the transmitter, it converts the message into signals. Channel, the medium, the medium used to send message and decoder the machine used to convert signals of binary data into message or the receiver who translate the message from signals and receiver or destination person who gets the message or the place where the message must reach the receiver provides feedback according to the message noise the physical disturb Bands, like environment, people which does not let the message get to the receiver as what is sent. Advantage of Shannon's waiver's model of communication, concept of noise helps in making the communication effective by removing the noise of problem causing noise or problem causing noise. This model takes communication as a two-way process. Communication is taken as quantifiable in Shannon's waiver model. Disadvantage, the Shannon's waiver model, by its very nature, encounters some difficulty when applied to human communication. It is origin as a model to apply to telecommunication rather than to interpersonal human communication, limit its application due to the linear and directional makeup. The model is taken by some critics as a misleading misrepresentation of the nature of human communication, as human communication is not mathematical in nature. The last communication model was Berlow's SMSCR model. While the Aristotle model of communication puts the speaker in the central position and suggests that the speaker is the one who drives the entire communication. They have four components. They are sender, message, channel, and receiver. Each of the components is affected by many factors. In the SMSCR model, S is transfer source. Sender is the source of the message of the person who ori ori originates the message. Communication skills, individual skills to communicate, ability to read, write, speak, listen. If the sender has good communication skills, the message will be communicated better than if the sender's communication skills are not good. Communication skills include the skill to speak, present, read, and write list or listening. Attitude of the sender and the receiver creates the effect of the message. 
the attitude toward self, the receiver, and the environment changes the meaning of the message. Knowledge, familiarity with the subject of the message, have it affect more. Social system, values, beliefs, laws, roles, religion, and many other social factors affect the sender's way of communicating the message. Culture, a person from our culture might, might find something offensive which is very much accepted in culture. Message, M is message, is the substance that is being sent by the sender to the receiver. It might be in the form voice, audio, text, video, or other media. Factors affecting the message are content, elements, treatment, structure, or code. C for channel. Actually, refers to the medium how the information flows from the sender to the receiver. All the five senses are the channels which help human beings to communicate. Hearing, seeing, smelling, and tasting are the person who gets the message sent in the process. The receiver must also have a very good listening skill. Then the advantage of the model is that makes clear that message and medium are aligned with the recipient. The language skills given to Berlow's model is speak, present, read, write, and listening. Criticism of Berlow's there is there is a lack of feedback. It does not mention the barriers to communication. There is no room for noise. It is a rather complex model. It is a linear model of communication. It requires people to be on the same level for effective communication to happen. Elements of Burlow's SMC are ER, hearing, seeing, touching, smelling, or tasting. Burlow's SMCR model. Source, com originates communication skills, knowledge, social system, culture, and attitudes. In codes to message, message composed or originates content, elements, treatment, structure, and code. Goes to channel that used to five senses the hearing seeing touching smelling and tasting decodes to receiver receiver is to communication skills attitudes knowledge social system and culture thank you